I recently discovered that Sicily has the largest concentration of documented mummies anywhere in the world outside Egypt. Here in Sicily, life and death are different aspects of the same reality. I came to find out more and ended up in the world's only mummy summer school. Sto morendo. My name is Amber Knight. It's Angela Baisa, and I'm a second year master's student studying anthropology. Death fascinates me. I am here to study Sicilian mummies. Pretty amazing, spectacular, super creepy. Hi. Every year, the school attracts students and researchers from around the world. You set up this mummy summer school. It's called Mummy Studies Field School, simply because we not only study mummies uh, on a theoretical uh, perspective, but we also do some practical work. And why in Sicily? It's in Sicily because in Sicily we have uh, thousands of remains that haven't been studied before. Che fai? Il dottore ti ha detto di stare a letto. Voglio finire il mio libro e poi avevo caldo. Che cos'è? Una storia dentro una storia dentro una storia. E ci sono i fantasmi? Sì. My in Francese. This story starts in Palermo, when in 1599, the Capuchin monks there opened a communal burial site and found that 45 of the bodies had been perfectly preserved. It was seen as a message from God. Natural mummification here happens more frequently than people would think. Um, but they interpreted it as a miracle. So they exposed these bodies and the first part of uh, these places started to exist. So it began, mummification in Sicily began by accident. Here, mummification began by accident after. Uh, it was kind of a process. Sicilians refined the process of mummification for 300 years until the practice mysteriously stopped at the beginning of the 20th century. I got a book in like third grade on Egyptian mummies and I've been interested ever since. <laughs> but some of the mummies here seemed worlds apart from their better known Egyptian cousins. So what exactly makes a mummy? As long as there's soft tissue on the body, there's a classification of mummy. A mummy is defined as a point at which decomposition ceases. Decomposition is driven by two main chemical processes autolysis, your own cells digesting themselves, and putrefaction, bacteria primarily in the digestive tract and lungs digesting you. But these processes rely on a suite of enzymes that require specific conditions to work. Too hot and too dry, and they don't work. Too cold, same. Too acidic, not enough oxygen, the list goes on. Each of these conditions, or combination of these, will result in different types of soft tissue preservation, and therefore, different types of mummies. The Sicilian mummies are spontaneously mummified, but this mummification process is somehow enhanced by some very special structures that are located inside the crypts of the churches. These special structures are facilities where the bodies were laid, and they are in the form of a seat or, or a grid. And uh, the bodies there were uh, dehydrating little by little and the environment was doing the rest. So once they became dry, they were cleaned and put in a coffin or in a niche for exhibition. Some of the family members would come and comb their hair and dine with them and change their clothes. The very fact that there are so many mummies on display and in such a visible, some would say gruesome manner, goes some way into explaining how the Sicilians view death. In many ways, death was much more visible than it is today. If you think about it, um, life and death, uh, we are separated from life just from a little wall that is the ceiling. So when I see the mummies, especially the young ones, it looks like people don't want to let go of their loved ones, but you're saying it's the opposite of that, but life and death are natural. Yeah, it's, part it's of their... their way to see, okay, they are not home, 
but I have a place where I see it again. And uh, the aspect of the contact is very important in Sicily. Why did they want to be preserved in this way forever? It's very difficult to say, in the sense that the mummification process in Sicily was always described in a technical way. We have data that reveal how this was done, but no one ever bothered to say why this was done. But it 